Hello there, creative students. It's me again, Teacher Ruby. And today we're going to have our lesson on factual information versus subjective content. Now, let's start with the this comic strips. So read the following comics and decide to which of the characters you agree with and state your reason. So let's start with the first picture on the left. It says here, I am into cold weather, says Nena. Popoy says, I enjoy the summer season. So to which of these characters do you agree more? Is it Nena who loves the cold weather or Popoy who loves the summer season? Now complete or express your thought using this phrase, I agree with blank because, for example, I agree with Popoy because I love going to the beach during summer. Now, let's go to the second picture. Maria says, I prefer waking up early and doing my tasks at dawn. Clara says, I am nocturnal and feel more active finishing my task in the evening. So to which of these characters do you agree with? Maria or Clara? For example, I agree with Clara because I also finish my task during the night when I am less distracted. Okay? So in different occasions, in different situations, you are asked to express your views or opinions on particular matters. So when you do this, your statements may contain factual information or subjective content. But what do we mean by factual information and subjective content? Factual information are statements that can be verified or proven to be true. In other words, a, a fact is true and correct no matter what. The sun is a star, humans are mammals, living things need air, food, and water to survive. All of those are factual information because that can be verified and there are evidences that support it, right? Meanwhile, when we say subjective content, it involves judgment, feeling, opinion, intuition, or emotion rather than factual information, okay? So it reflects views or ideas that people have about subjects and topics for example your friend says that all ice cream is tasty they're all delicious that is his opinion because not everyone may think the same way nor it can be proven true often writers will live up their facts with a sprinkling of opinion unfortunately it can at times be difficult to extract factual information from the writer's preferences and biases luckily the language itself used often throws up helpful clues in terms of words and phrases that assist us in identifying statements as factual or objective. So first, you just have to ask yourself, can this be proven? Evidence to support factual information can be easily found in books as well as by searching online using reliable sources of information. Normally, when we cite facts, we use the words like according to, scientists have discovered have found out okay meanwhile when it comes to giving out opinions or subjective content we usually use the words like in my opinion i believe i think right or judgment words like bias words like bad worse good better best worthwhile worthless and qualifiers like all always likely never seem possibly probably should okay so those are our clues so that we could identify if it's factual information or subjective content always start with the question can this be proven look at the following examples first example of the factual information jose rizal wrote no limit time for me jose rizal's no limit anger is an eye opener that helps us realize the ills of the society so these two sentences are basically connected but one is factual and the other is subjective content. Now, which is the judgment word or what is the clue that shows us that the subjective content is actually subjective? Yes, the use of the words for me, right? Let's take a look at another example. About 4.5 Filipinos have lost their jobs this year with unemployment rate at 10.4%. 
percent, the highest rate in 15 years the government reported due to COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so this is a government report. It cites a source. This is a stat. Okay, so this is a factual information. Subjective content. In my opinion, the government should extend additional assistance to Filipinos who suffer from unemployment due to pandemic. See how we use factual information for us to be able to express our opinion, right? And the clue here is the phrase, in my opinion. Last example, garnering 70% of the viewers vote, the finalists from Visayas won the reality show. I believe, that's their clue. I believe the winner deserves victory due to his commendable social skills when dealing with others. So the statements in the first column contain established facts, figures, and proven evidence to claim that the statements are true. On the other hand, the statements on the second column are about one's impressions, suggestions, and personal judgment on situations, right? Now, factual information and subjective information are often woven together in text and speeches. It is therefore imperative that students like you will be able to unravel the friends from what is true and what is mere belief so that you could successfully navigate the deluge of media that you encounter in your everyday life. There's so much information out there, but we have to be able to distinguish which is useful for us, which should be consumed. Okay, so it's factual and subjective content. So whether in news, in advertising, or books, distinguishing between what is a fact and what is an opinion is crucial to becoming an independent person necessary to avoid being manipulated easily. So these are the learning tasks that you need to accomplish. On your learning task one, you have to read a video transcript of America's President Barack Obama. and answer the questions that follows so these are statements taken from president obama's address so identify which among the statements contain factual information or subjective content write f for factual and s for subjective content write your answers on a pad paper this time in learning task two read an excerpt from president manuel alcazar's speech in your paper write the three statements indicating factual information and three statements expressing subjective content from the speech. So remember, factual information is defined as statements that can be verified or proven true. Indicators are features or numerical data, results of researches, and general truths or established facts. Subjective content is defined as statements that involve judgment, feeling, opinion, or emotion. Indicators include personal views and comments, individual preferences, and adjectives based on one's perspectives. So before we go to your final learning task, let's read the following pairs of sentences and decide which is factual and which is subjective between the two, all right? First pair. Kansas National High School was founded in October 1902 by a Thomasite named Aubrey Parks. Second statement, it is a privilege to finish secondary education in Kansas National High School. So which is a factual information and which is a subjective content? That's correct. First one is factual information and the second sentence is subjective. Number two, online distance learning is more fun than modular due to virtual interaction with teachers and classmates every now and then. Before the beginning of the school year, Kazi National High School conducted a survey to identify students who can be subjected under modular distance learning and online distance learning. The first statement is, that's correct, subjective content. And the second statement is the factual information. Next pair, Fawn Girl won Best Picture at the 2020 Metro Manila Film Festival Awards Night. Fawn Girl is a great film. People should see it. The first sentence is an example of correct factual information and the second one is an example of subjective content next malagolong bridge is one among the spanish era bridges in tayabas the thought of children said to be kidnapped and their blood used in the construction of bridges to make them strong and stand the test of time is scary the first statement is factual information and the second one is subjective content next Personal views based on emotions or feelings. Statements that can be tested or measured to prove if they are true or not. 
which is factual and which is subjective. The first one is an example of subjective content. And the second statement is referring to factual information. Last pair. The type of writing where the author states to tell in the past and does not express his or her personal feelings, views, judgment, or opinions. The type of writing where an author can be seen to be expressing his or her personal view. The first statement is an example of factual information. And the second statement is a subjective content. All right. For your performance test, you are going to write an editorial. So what is an editorial? An editorial is a journalistic piece of writing that expresses the writer's thoughts and opinions on a certain issue. It is a great way to share your perspective or advocate for a cause to a wide audience. An editorial often follows a well-established formula. Introduction, body, conclusion. Okay, IBC. In the introduction, it states the problem. The body expresses an opinion and solution and conclusion that emphasizes the main issue and powerfully summarizes the writer's opinion. In writing an editorial, it is important to recognize the difference between fact and opinion in text. Okay? So facts are true and cannot be argued with because they can be proven and are supported by evidence, while opinions vary according to the attitudes of the writer. So a well Written editorial uses several facts to back up the express opinion. To build credibility, the opinion in the editorial must be supported by facts and evidence to substantiate your opinion. So this is an example taken from um, a little bulletin. So this is an example of an editorial writing. So this one is the introductory paragraph. So if you're reading it, the first paragraph states the issue that is to be discussed. Uh, we actually call it the news bag, which is a brief statement about the news event at which the editorial is based. Next, you are seeing some paragraphs as the body. So the, the body is composed of several paragraphs that shows the writer's opinion and it is backed up by facts and evidence. So although the writer is providing his or her opinion, it is supported by factual information. So what you see is a factual information. It talks about all the leaders who had who had themselves publicly inoculated right and then in the subjective content it expresses the writer's belief that president duterte should also inoculate himself in public because the others have done so this is another example so as factual information the writer used a result from a survey to express his opinion that people should not be blamed for having their own doubts and that the president himself should be willing to take the vaccine in public. So again, the point that for his opinion is for the president to take any vaccine in public. Okay. So what you're seeing is the last paragraph. So this is the conclusion that summarizes the writer's point of view and remind the reader why they should care about the issue. So remember, a good editorial is balanced. Okay? A good editor should express an opinion without being opinionated. And you can do that by providing factual information. So you have to be able to use both factual and subjective content to support your view. So your article should consist of 200 to 300 words. It should contain at least two sentences stating factual information and three sentences expressing subjective content. So please underline or highlight these sentences and write your article in a whole sheet of paper so next you will be seeing the rubric on how you're going to be scored so it is very important to know how to distinguish factual information from subjective content when listening to a speaker or reading an article when gathering information for situations that call for valuable input from you such as when you're asked to make a stand about a particular issue it is important that you know these two important concepts so that you will be able to balance them to form a strong argument. Remember, everyone is entitled to his own opinion, but not to his own facts. So arm yourselves with facts. Thank you so much for attending this class, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.